Hello! Today you're going to find out what the didgeridoo challenge is and what is your next didgeridoo challenge. So first let's see how we got to where we are now. A few months ago I released a video which uh, was about a simple push-pull pattern and it consisted of tooth and drone and I asked from you to do your homework to create a new line number three and I got exactly zero replies for that. Then a few months later, I released another video in which I proposed a few uh, lines which could be inserted in that position number three. And um, I called it a challenge and I got many replies. So I learned that you don't like homeworks, but you do like challenges. And I learned that sometimes maybe to invent your own stuff can be too difficult. And it's easier to just have a a really clear exercise that you need to do and repeat. Got it. I took notes. So what is the foundation of a didgeridoo challenge? Well, first of all, you need to have a challenge, a video which has an exercise. Then you need to put that video into practice. And I propose that you put it into practice half an hour each day and you can miss one day a week. And you do that for two weeks. If you feel that is not enough, add another week. So you will have six to 10 hours of practice and that should create already a big difference. And how will you know that it created a big difference? Well, you will record your first session and you will record your last session. And that will put things into perspective because sometimes we are very harsh towards ourselves. We are very judgmental and it feels like we're never good enough. We are not making progress and it all doesn't make sense. But if you record your first session and you record your last session, you will have an objective perspective on what happened in those two weeks. And I think you will like what happened, uh, even if you don't post it. But that is the next step. Post it online. Uh, don't just send me a, an email for two reasons. Reason number one, I get a lot of email. And reason number two is because community will benefit from your contribution. Because we struggle with different things and somebody might give you a comment on how they overcame their struggle or you might see someone who actually overcame the struggle in the video and he explains or she explains how they do it. And that is very beneficial because the goal of the whole challenging ourselves thing in the didgeridoo playing is to bring more prowess in musicianship amongst the judo players, which I think will greatly benefit us all. So I really recommend that you do record yourself and that you do post it. And then you leave it in the comment. You leave it in the comment under this video or whatever video contained the challenge. So today I will summon an old video for the challenge. You can post your progress also in the comments of that video. One more thing that I really want to be clear about is that I choose exercises for you with love and responsibility for your didgeridoo playing. I try to bring exercises that will help you with breathing, that will help you with those basic movements, that will help you with singing, that will help with how your lips work, that will help you with your movements, that will help you really express your breath into sound. I try not to stay on the superficial level and just change rhythm slightly so that I can give you more and more exercises um, all the time. I really take time to construct and choose the exercises so that they have certain depth that you can benefit from them for a long time, especially on that very foundational breathing base. So today I would like to revisit the singing that you do rhythm. It is a beautiful exercise for you in which you can practice how the melody can get out with the support of a didgeridoo. And that you can do on three levels and you choose which one is right for you. Maybe you are even able to progress from level one to two or even three inside of those two weeks. But if it doesn't happen in those two weeks, you can always start a new challenge with a new level after you've completed the first one. And if you don't find these challenges challenging enough, uh, well, here I have a uh, level four for you. And level, level four would be to play that same melody. Ba, 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 da, ba. Ba, 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 da, ba. 
but using air code to support it. Probably you will have to transpose the melody, but that shouldn't be a big problem. However, I would like you to try to find a meaningful uh, support uh, with the uh, structure of air code to help that melody come out and be more expressive. Um, so that is for those who want more. All right, um, that's it for today. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, you really may consider subscribing. It helps a lot. I suggest you spiral out as the rest of the universe, but surely keep digging.